Just because you make a million dollars, you think that's it? All the first million is supposed to do is just let you know it's possible. Ron ain't never had like a Phil Jackson. He ain't never had that Steve Kerr. He ain't never had, he ain't never had that, that type of coach that he like respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kobe and Mike, bro, like, they had coaches. Even Steph and them, bro. Like, think about this. Even if Brown would have got, like, Mark Jackson. Bro, Steve Kerr, a good coach. Mark Jackson was that guy, dog. He put that shit together, dog. But, bro, coaches are so important for the journey. Right? Now, here's this. The right coach going to bring the best out of you, dog. You know Mike was a dog. But you don't think Mike respected Phil? Mike probably gave everybody on the team hell, but he respected Phil because he understand the type of coach, the type of system. Think about Kobe, dog. Kobe, uh, <clears throat> Kobe and Shaq respected Phil. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, that's the one theme you're going to see with teams that win. Bro, San Antonio Spurs, bro, they respected Pop. A great team, bro. Andy Reid is a great coach, dog. That's why the people keep winning. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. Pat, Pat Mahomes, gangster. Bro, them people going to keep winning because that dude a great coach. And as long as he there, as long as he putting that system together, he outcoached people in the last few minutes of the game, dog. He outcoached you in the last few minutes of the game. And we can say, well, look, the coach on the opposing team made a bad play. Yep, all that. He outcoaching you. He running the offense. Don't get me wrong, Pat doing what he do because you can't take away for greatness. But here's what the coach do. The coach put the players in position to be, to have their strengths. You feel me? That's what coaches do, bro. That's why Bill Belichick was a gangster. Now, don't get me wrong. Watch this, bro. Tom Brady was a gangster. But he ain't become that gangster until, like, Super Bowl four. Them first three? Bro, that was... That was the New England system. Now, I'm not taking nothing away from Tom, but that system was like that system, and people keep taking this away from that. Must that system helped him mature into the Tom Brady? He was if he get if he goes, you know, the, the 999 pick of the draft, he goes to Arizona or something, he don't be Tom Brady. You feel me? He goes into a system. Don't get me wrong. The dope part about him was he had the mindset to be the greatest. Right? But then, if we think about those first couple Super Bowls, bro, that was built on the defense. That was built on Teddy Bruschi, Vince Wolford, Ty Law. That was built on them dudes. They had that New England defense with Romeo Carnell. But also, Bill Belichick put them like, yo, here's the system. Now, don't get me wrong. The system developed them. So, around Super Bowl three and four, he in Tom Brady mode. And that happens, right? You're supposed to be able to develop. And now you got to realize he only been on one team his whole career. He been in the same system in and out, winning season, loot. He been on the same system. So now by the time he 42, 43, 40, man, I, done much, I know this system like the back of my hand. Now it ain't you made me, Bill. I know the system. And I developed as the quarterback. My own, my, I done seen every defense they can throw at me. You feel me? So at some point he was a system quarterback and then he developed into the ultimate quarterback. But that's what happens to us. That's why we always, and people will always fail because people go through life thinking, I don't need nobody to teach me. I can do it on my own. But I'm always looking for a coach. I'm always looking for somebody that can help me go to the next level. That's why I love rocking with ET. But I'm, I'm even looking for like billionaire coaches. You know why? I need somebody that can that have a different perspective for me. I need somebody to be like, bro, you think it's small? Why are you trying to get a hundred million? You go get a billion. It's like I'm telling you, bro. You, 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 I ask you, do you want to be a successful day trader or do you want to be a successful trader because it's two different things? But what happens is you learn a system and then watch this. You can lead a team and still go win a ring. You feel me? Shaq understood the system with L.A., but it developed him and developed him, developed him, playing with Kobe, developed him. He go to Miami, he win a ring. Brady, developed him, developed him, developed him. Became, 
Go to Tampa Bay. Yep, he had a good team, but guess what? They don't go as far as he go. Without him, you win a ring. Same with you. You learn, you learn, you learn, you eat it up, you develop. I, I got this. Let me go some, let me go win a ring without Trav. You feel me? But the coach puts you in position to develop. You start learning. The coach is a coach for a reason. A great coach is gonna be at a different level, dog. He's gonna coach from a different level. You're gonna see the game from a different level. Even little small tweets, you'll be like, damn, where you get that from? Why Mr. Miyagi was so dope with Daniel's son. He thinking wax on, wax off. He washing the car. He's not realizing when you get inside the fight, you ha, ha, ha. You're like, oh, shit, ha. What the hell? You feel me? I'm thinking it's some car wash crap. Bro, why you got hands out, man? Wash, wax on, wax off, bro. But then when you get in the heat of a battle, because the coach done developed you in the system, it's unorthodox. You, why, 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 why? you like, damn, I ain't. But... Not only do you got to believe in a coach, you got to buy into the system. When you, buy into, when you believe in a coach, you buy into the system, you get a confidence that everybody don't have. Bro, I walk through life with a different type of confidence. So I learn, I be tweaking to learn from different people, bro. Because I know the more I learn from people, the more I'm, bro, life is a marathon. Just because you make a million dollars, you think that's it? All the first million is supposed to do is just let you know it's possible. The first hundred thousand posts, I told, I said this the other day, me and B was on a thing. I said, bro, the first hundred thousand, I don't know if that was you, B, I was on a live. I said, bro, the, I was on a live. I said, the first hundred thousand meant more to me than the first million. And they was like, why, Trap? Why you feel like that? I said, because I had never made a hundred thousand before being an entrepreneur. I did it working a job, but I don't get to see that. Right? I made 100000 as an entrepreneur. Not selling crack, not selling weed, not selling heroin, not robbing, not jacking. I made 100000 legally as an entrepreneur. Guess what that means? If I do this 10 more times, I can make a million. I just got to do it 10 more times, so now I'm playing a numbers game. Right? But the first 100000 was to crack the code. So now when you make a million, you're like, wait, hold up. If I do this 10 more times, that's $10 million. And once I make 10 million, if I do that 10 more times, that's a hundred million. And if I make a hundred million, I do that, that's a billion. Hmm. It's a numbers game at that point. So the first hundred thousand is the most important because this is the proof of concept. The first hundred thousand make everything else real. Like, oh, because now, bro, all the numbers on the board exist to me now. Oh, chat, we did a what? All right, we did. 10 million? Oh, yeah. Bet. 100 million? Oh, bet. Because this ain't, I just got to do that. You know what I'm saying? I just got to do the 10 million 10 more times. And here's the dope part about that. Once you do the 10 million the first time, and then you do it the second time, it gets easier. You do it, it gets easier. Prime example, I made my first 100,000 in the market from options. And then the goal, the next goal was like, all right, I want to make 250. Last year we did 260. I started a year off. I'm only a month and a half in. We had 800,000. It gets easier. Knowledge evolves. It's just like going in a room with the lights off. So you're like, damn, I can't see. But if you don't panic and you chill for a second, bro, you start to see. You won't see like you see with the light on, but you can, oh, I can see my hands. I bet. It's kind of like you got a car. You're going to somebody's house for the first time. You're like, bro, that's a long-ass ride, bro. On the way home, you're like, damn, that shit was 15 minutes. You didn't know where you was going at. You was navigating new terrain. You feel what I'm saying? The coach allows you to navigate the terrain without taking, without going down a detour that you don't got to go. But it's not saying that it's going to be easy because you still got to climb it. But the coach is preparing you to go where you got to go at. All right, listen. You need your rest tonight. you like, man, I don't need no rest, man. You get up, man, I'm tired. I'm... Hey, listen, do these, you know, stair masks. Man, I ain't doing no stair masks. I ain't trying to get my ass big. I ain't doing no stair You tripping, coach. All right, bet. Not knowing that they go straight up. And then with investing, it's not when you're going to lose. It's not if you're going to lose. It's when you're going to lose. 
how you handle that. I tell people all the time, the one thing I can't teach you is how you are going to handle when you see your account turn red. It don't even, I, my favorite saying now is, we gonna be up so much the losses don't matter. My favorite quote right now, I won't be up so much the losses don't even matter to me, dog.